Welcome to your voice com channel. In today's video, we will be taking a short break from video lessons to address the unprecedented global crisis brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, which poses a threat to economic growth and financial stability as it impacted sternly on different industries and businesses, and the health and safety of the country's entire population are at risk. We'll be sharing with you the things we can do to support the government, help stop the spread of the virus, and how we can survive and fight against COVID-19. The worldwide outbreak of coronavirus disease 2019 has brought the world to a standstill. Coronavirus disease is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Most people who fall sick with COVID-19 will experience mild to moderate symptoms. But how does it spread? The virus that causes COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated with an infected person coughs, sneezes, or exhales. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air and quickly fall on floors or surfaces. You can be infected by breathing in the virus if you are within close proximity of someone with COVID-19 or by touching a contaminated surface and then your eyes, nose, or mouth. As a measure to limit the spread of coronavirus disease 2019 in the Philippines, lockdowns officially characterized as community quarantine by the government of varying strictness were imposed in numerous parts of the Philippines. The enhanced community quarantine is the strictest of such measures. The largest of these measures was the enhanced community quarantine in Luzon. Hospitality and travel are two of the biggest industries impacted by COVID-19. It also caused school, church, and restaurant closures. Manufacturing and construction have largely held off on layoff decisions, and millions of people had been facing acute food shortages. During this pandemic, people may feel increased stress. We must take care of our mental health and do productive things at home like reading a book, taking up exercise, doing DIY projects, starting a garden, learning a new skill, and spending quality time with their family. Many of us are staying at home because of the COVID-19 crisis, so why not make the best use of our time by growing our food for consumption? And that is why your voice comes present... Quarantine, a Filipino way of growing food during quarantine.
are some friendly reminders from your VoiceCom channel to reduce your chances of being infected or spreading COVID-19. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Maintain at least one meter distance between yourself and others and always put your mask on. Avoid going to crowded places. Avoid touching eyes, nose and mouth. Make sure you and the people around you follow good respiratory hygiene. Stay at home and self-isolate even with minor symptoms such as cough, headache, mild fever until you recover. If you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention but call by telephone in advance if possible and follow the directions of your local health authority. Keep up to date on the latest information from trusted sources. And that ends our special episode on quarantine. This has been Miss V of Your Voice Com channel saying thank you for watching and remember that plants help reduce stress and create a feeling of well-being. They also help improve air quality. So start planting and make your own quarantine. Like and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Stay at home and stay safe. Bye-bye!